Who is you, girl? Who is you, girl? Who is you? Hey everyone, it's Pixelina and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Baby Challenge Part 11. So, I did say that I was going to move our Sims into a new house or that I was going to redecorate, but I did major major redecorating i kind of you know went ahead of myself got ahead of myself and pretty much took down the entire house and or not exactly but for the most part and redid everything some things look the same and then others don't but um i just want to make sure that you guys know that i did cheat a little bit as well just little bit or you know maybe a little more than a little bit but it would it's i cheated a lot less than i would have if i would have moved them into the house that i wanted them to which was a creation by another simmer so keep, just keep that in mind uh so yeah as you guys can see we have rebecca about to fall asleep on a freaking bench her own bench may i add her own bench in her front porch instead of sleeping in her bed or maybe you know perhaps on a couch mm -hmm. no well see that's just our sims lives so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick overview oh what 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 i don't know i'm confused too okay so anyways when you walk in actually i'm gonna go ahead and be all professional and stuff since we're doing this so here we have our front porch we have a jack-o-lantern and then we have the little bench right there so when you walk inside hopefully this doesn't take too long oh hey 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 boy don't don't really know his name not too familiarized all right well when you walk in you have the store, the store mat, and then you have like this little reading area here with those cute little hanging lights, which are custom content. You have your living room area where everyone is going to eat, and then you have another area right over here. So if anyone just wants to eat there, have breakfast there, whatever, they can. Here we have our little can that makes money. We have some, you know, random stuff on the kitchen, kitchen counter, but check this out, you guys. We have the ice cream maker. Yes, the ice cream maker. The one that came with cool kitchen stuff. It is freaking amazing. And I thought we had to have it. Here we have a cute little cookie jar, which is just decoration. And of course, we can't forget about this custom content fridge, which I downloaded and absolutely love. This is the Little Mermaid drawing that we did. I just like referring, it, referring to it as Little Mermaid because it looks like that scene where you know kiss the girl all right <laughs> so yeah um that is going to be the flirty decoration for the house to get our potential victims to you know want to woo with us and stuff and make babies so here um in this area we have like a bunch of rooms doors all that stuff so right over here we have one of the kids rooms so of course we have the desks we have about three i mean four desks in here we have a master bed or a king side queen queen size bed and then we have two bunk beds over here and then here i'm just gonna quickly get, go ahead and get this out of the way here we have the outside porch it's very small you know because the house takes up most of the backyard but that's cool we don't need anything too grand so here on this door we have one of the bathrooms and then if you uh i'm kind of lost here where am i okay so here's a door that leads obviously to the outside we're gonna go ahead and go into the next door you have another bathroom and oh hey hey girl hey and then uh, we have another bathroom there so yeah and over here we have the living room area nothing too grand just the tv and your same old you know typical windows which i guys the feeling of nostalgia that comes upon me when i look out these windows is honestly incredible and if i saw rain on them windows you know i would just cry right there guys i would cry right then and there because seasons is life and then here we have another kid's be bedroom and i think it is kind of unnecessary to have you know three bunk beds uh 
I, I, we did overdo it a little bit on the beds, but you know what? You can never go wrong with too many beds. And eventually, we will be getting the mod that allows us to have more than eight sims in the house. So, why not? And we're going to go ahead and head upstairs now. But yeah, here's the reading area. Super cute. You can look out the window. Your sims can just see what's going on outside. Nothing too crazy, though, because we don't have seasons. But that's cool, you know? So, here we are going to just head upstairs. And the first thing you see when you head upstairs is this little kids play area where the kids can play. I added a little fence because, that, hey, I thought it was cute. And whoa, 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 is this supposed to be here? Uh, no, you are not. I don't think so. No. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to show you guys the old fashioned way because who has time for anything else all right so here we have you know the little kids area and i love these freaking lights right here because they are my life and then we have of course the nursery you can't forget about that we have this you know basic nursery with some hanging stuff over here and then over here we have a little reading area for the kids and they are going to have to go through the nursery to get in here but that's okay or they can come through here and to and through this door, go outside, and then come in here. But since we don't have seasons, we don't have to worry about them freezing or anything on their way inside through the outside. But yeah, they're just going to read here. We have a bookshelf so they can read some lights right over here and a TV. So just a chilling room, you know. And then someone is sleeping in here, clearly. Um, let me actually go ahead and get rid of these pillows because they cover our sim spaces and that's no good. No, no, no. So this is going to be the bedroom where the founder is going to be sleeping or the baby maker. Call her that if you will. Uh, so yeah, this is the room she's going to be staying in. This is where she's going to be writing her books and using anything regarding the computer. And I guess if we need any other sim to work on there when she's not woohooing or trying for a baby, they can. Here we have the master bath, nothing too crazy, just some, you know, decorative stuff here and there, and that's pretty much it. So, I hope you guys enjoy, or enjoy, I hope you guys like this house tour. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the gameplay. So, currently it is Friday, and so I just, I just want to go ahead and have the kids take care of their needs and everything. So, she's going to go ahead and eat something real fast because she doesn't need to sleep quite yet so she's gonna come over here and grab something to eat so open this up and of course we have no food and the cereal in her inventory is spoiled so we're gonna throw that out sell this elementary school book and she's gonna come over here and just have a quick meal of cereal amory or amory amory uh, Rebecca's gonna stop sleeping for a second so she can, alright, go use the bathroom and then cook something because your children need to eat. And she is currently in her second trimester. She goes into her third in about 18 hours, which is very, very exciting. But as you guys can see, we have three bathrooms. Someone did give me the idea of, you know, splitting the bathrooms up and stuff, so I thought that was cool. So she's going to finish using the bathroom and then we're going to have her come over here and cook up some, she's going to cook up some fish and chips, party size. And uh, yeah, so we are going, oh, he's just taking a bath. All right, that's cool. Uh, he actually has to pee when he's done. So once you are done doing that, uh, don't leave the bath, son. Don't leave the bath. Alright, alright, leave the bath then. Use the bathroom once you are done, and then we will have him do something for fun. But I just want to make sure the kids are rested up enough. Yeah, he has enough sleep, so go ahead and do your homework. Do homework, and I want them to do their extra credit so that we can go ahead and age them up as well. So, yeah. Cody, you're going to do your homework. Amory, I believe is her name. Yes. Or Lizzie, actually. I'm sorry. Lizzie, you are going to go ahead and do your homework as well. I know you are tired, but go ahead and do that. And let me have Rebecca come here and claim the bed when she is done eating. So, yeah. And I think we are going to have her start working on... Ooh, them fish and chips, though. 
All right, so I think, wait, don't claim your bed, girl. Just finish eating your food. Okay, okay. All right, so we're going to have Amory start working on, I know she's tired, but I want her to develop her art skill. So she's just going to come out here and paint a small classic painting just to have her, you know, have the skill there and all that good stuff. And I think what we are going to do actually is move this over. Oh, we can't. I feel like it's kind of unnecessary. That's the thing, having that there. Hmm. That's fine, whatever. So she's gonna go ahead and do that and everyone's doing their homework, good, good, good. She's gonna do that. Braden is using the bathroom. He needs to grab something to eat, so let's go ahead and have him do that. So come over here and grab a serving of fish and chips and you girl got to make money. So, cause bills are going to be coming in, I believe on Monday. So she, we really need money like bad. And actually, let me go ahead and set this to auto lights, all lights. And what we will do is we will just turn this one on, leave this one on at all times. I just want at least, you know, one light on. That way it's not complete darkness. And oh, I, I just love how they're working on their desks. It's so adorable. So adorable. And she's super tired, so I'm just going to go ahead and let her sleep. So go ahead and grab some, get some energy. And everyone seems to want to go to the master bedroom for some reason. And I'm just here like, why? Like, bunk beds are super cool. So why would you want to do that? Um, And let me turn on one of these as well, because I don't like the complete darkness. So, yeah. Oh, I actually need to have one of these outside I need to add a light out here. That way it's not dark either. So let me go ahead and look here for wall lights. Lighting, wall lights. Or actually, let me go into outdoor lights. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and put one right here. And another one right here. Alright, that works. But yeah, so she's going to go ahead and finish painting, and let's see. You are currently eating. Has he done his homework? Do your homework once you are done doing that. And Zane, home Zane has completed his homework. Cool, cool, cool. Is anyone hungry that hasn't yet eaten? All right, Zane, Cody. Cody, you are hungry, so you will... Grab something to eat once you are finished eating, which should be in no time. So go ahead and grab a serving. And maybe, you know, when the kids have free time or something like that, I'll have them, you know, throughout the weekend, I'll have them do their extra credit. But for now, I'm just going to have them eat. That way they don't starve to death. And Lizzie is also about to finish her homework as well. And yeah, he's going to go ahead and do his homework. I know you are very tense, but I want him to just get it out of the way. So, Lizzie, come over here and open this up. Have a serving of that. And, ooh, she's angry. Why are you angry? Oh, from Hot Headed Trait, of course. Just look at her. She's like, ugh, I hate this. I, I hate life. <laughs> so, Braden, are you going to finish? It? Don't talk to your brother. Just finish your homework. Just get it over with, dude. Just get it over with. All right, you know what? Screw it, screw it, screw it. I'm just going to have him do it in the morning. But for now, he is going to go ahead and channel surf for some fun before he goes to bed. His room is right next door, so it, you know, hopefully he doesn't pass out on the way there. And these two are just talking. Cool, cool, cool. Does anyone need, like, social or anything? No, they're good. He's actually really hungry, but I'm just going to have him sleep through the night and everything like that. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and speed through this real quick. Or actually, I will simply see you guys. Alrighty, guys. So, it is the morning. And what is what is wrong with you? What is up with you, girl? What is up? She is angry from her... Oh, because she hates children and she's by them. Oh, okay. 
Um, so go ahead and rant to your brother here while you have breakfast. But first, eat. Go go ahead and use the bathroom. Don't want you peeing yourself. So she's gonna go ahead and use the bathroom, and then she's gonna come here and grab a serving of this. Has she done her homework? I don't know. She hasn't. So. She does need to do that, but she's going to be our moneymaker number two, so she definitely needs to, you know, you know, um, go help us out with some money by building the art skill and all of that good stuff. So, yeah. Alright, so she's going to go ahead and eat something and then sit here. And he, she's going to go ahead and just rant to him because she's, she, you know, so go ahead and... Why don't we have that option? Oh, she's not mad anymore? Uh, uh, that's cool. That's cool. So, she's going to eat here as well. I think this plant is huge for this area. So, I'm going to go ahead and sell that and replace it with maybe this one. Something a little smaller, you know. So, yeah. Uh, does she need social or anything like that? Just a little bit. So, come here and give her a heartfelt compliment. Talk about handiness. Share big news. Give the woohoo talk. Oh my god, that should be interesting. Uh, brighten her day. And uh, discuss interests. Alright, so she acquired the charisma skill. They're going to do that. And then Cody is still sleepy. He should be awake in no time. She is still sleeping as well. Just going to have him rest up all the way. And, of course, he's still sleeping because he want to sleep quite late. So, yeah. They're going to go ahead and sleep in. Alright, so stop talking and go ahead and finish your food so we can have you guys go out and do things to make the money. Because, you know, bills and stuff. Alright, so Zane is about to finish eating. He's going to go ahead and watch some, t watch some TV. Does he need fun? Yeah, he does. So, I'm just going to go ahead and have him do that. Let me actually move this over here a little bit. Alright, cool. Don't talk to your mom. Go watch TV. Alright, cool. So, Rebecca is going to... Oh, she needs some fun as well. So, before she gets to painting or any of that, she's going to go ahead and watch the Kids Channel here. So, watch the Kids Network. With your kids. <laughs> And, girl, you are not going to watch TV. No, you need to make the money while mommy's pregnant. So, you're going to come over here and harvest these flowers back here. And, oh, hey. Hey, girl, hey. She's, I guess, the one that takes care of the garden and stuff. So, come here and harvest this. Harvest this. This and this. This as well. And this. And I think we're going to be keeping Amory. So, yeah. Pretty sure we are going to be keeping her because she is going to be the one we are going to be working on. Building her skills and everything like that. Maybe the gardening, gardening skills since we have an extra sim to do that with. So that should be quite interesting. And I'm hoping that EA brings some, some cool like harvestables and things that we can plant and things like that. You know, some interesting stuff. Maybe some, some like fruits and stuff. Some, some new stuff. I don't know. Just... Just something new, you know? Alright, so once she has done that, she's going to come over here and just harvest these mushrooms. And then she's going to look for some frogs. Dig this up. Come over here. Harvest this. We're pretty much just going to harvest everything we can pretty much find. So harvest the mushroom plant. Harvest this. Harvest that. Dig this up. And is that it? I'm pretty sure. But what she can do is actually come over here. Ooh, there's so much to harvest. I love it. But, you know, guys, we need the money. We, we need as much money as we can possibly find. So go ahead and do that. And then do one more. And Oh, my God. This is an addiction. I swear. She's going to dig this up. And then we will see if we can have her fish or we will... Set Brad in, actually, to fish for us, since he can't, I mean, the teenagers can't have any sort of, like, part-time job, so this is what they're gonna have to do, and why? 
why he's sad because of broken dollhouse but why would you destroy it tell me i want to know why would you destroy it no that's wrong you don't do that so now of course your mom has to come over here and repair it well she should be resting since she is pregnant but actually when she does that she's going to come over here and sell to actually let's go ahead and just sell that in our inventory so 64 simoleons, she's going to work on a large realism painting because those bring in the big bucks right there. So yeah, she's still picking up some stuff and ooh, I see that inventory growing larger and larger. Braden, go ahead and do your homework since he hasn't finished it. Once he's finished eating, he will go ahead and do that. Does he need fun? He could use a little more fun. So keep, keep eating your fish and chips and then come over here and watch some TV. Watch the current channel. No one's watching it. I mean, they should turn it off, but they don't. They don't. All right, cool. Is she done? All right, go ahead and head to the home lot now. And she needs to take a shower because she is feeling dirty. So she's going to go ahead and take a shower when she gets home. Let's go ahead and have her do that. Go ahead and just do it in the one downstairs since it is faster. So go ahead and take a shower there, and for fun, she will, uh, does programming bring up <laughs> your fun? I don't know. I don't know if it does that, but she will just watch the current channel because, yeah. So she's going to go ahead and just watch the current channel when she's finished doing that because she does need fun. Bob Pancakes would like to hang out. Is that okay? Um... Uh, 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 we're good we're good we are good all right lizzie is currently using the computer go ahead and use the bathroom take a shower and she's gonna go downstairs and grab something to eat we actually need to have um can brad and cook anything let's see come here and cook up some some mac and cheese family size just in case he screws it up you know just in case so he's gonna cook that up it's so awesome being able to have teenagers that cook honestly like amazing we don't have to have the adults having to do it every two seconds so that's pretty neat i can't wait to age him up is this a masterpiece no it is not so we're gonna go ahead and just sell that though go ahead and sell to collector and then she's gonna work on another one Go ahead and work on a confident painting. He acquired the cooking skill. Cool, cool, cool. And what are you doing? You are still in the shower. All right, that is okay. Zane, I think, is going to go ahead and do his extra credit work. Just leave the plates there. We will throw that out for you. No worries. All right, so he's going to go ahead and just do his extra credit work so that we can age all the kids up. You are going to... I guess he already did his extra credit work. Or he just doesn't have any. And she's done all her work as well. She needs to actually do her homework. I know she's feeling very tense. So never mind. Just come over here. Sit and watch some. Just channel surf a bit I think. Does cooking channel bring up her fun actually? I want to see. Watch the cooking channel. Yeah see it just bring it brings it up just as much. Alright that's cool. Alright, so Braden, don't do that. I know you're uncomfortable. I know, I know. But actually, I want him to read on the cooking skill. That way he doesn't waste a bunch of money, <laughs> you know, trying to cook. So he, we're going to come over here and purchase a book. Mm -mm -mm. Skill cooking volume one let's go ahead and purchase one of those and he's gonna go ahead and read that for a little bit i know he has to finish his homework he'll just he'll do that in a moment actually no don't read this book i'm sorry read this one and come sit over here while doing so because i think this area is so adorable so cute such a cute little reading area and actually you know what just do your homework first i want to get that out of the way don't want to have to worry about it so of course not. Go ahead and put that in his inventory. And he's going to just do his homework for a little bit. 
And she's angry from being around Sims. Oh my god. Just the trait we needed, right? Alright, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and sell this stuff. Alright, sell this for 15 simoleons. 100. 30. 200. Whoa. 150. Yes. 20. Another 20. And go ahead and extract this fossil. And then we will sell that for 40. And she does need to do her homework and she has up she has enough funds. So she's gonna go ahead and stop watching TV and do some of that. Let's go ahead and see where she goes to do her homework. Cool. Alright, I love how they just go to this little work area, you know. Zane has completed his extra credit work. Alright, cool. Baden, alright. You are going to go ahead and grab something to eat. Why are you sitting all the way there? Come over here. Girl, what you doing? And she actually needs to cook up some more. Uh, did she finish the painting? Make sure we go ahead and sell that. Alright, cool. She finished it. Hey, well, that is a new one. I have not seen that one yet. Pretty cool. Alright, so we're already up to uh, 2,000 simoleons. Go ahead and eat macaroni and cheese. Why do you have to eat it there? Then I have to drag the plate and... Ugh, I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, whatever. Finish your homework standing up, I guess. And Cody, um, go ahead and what can he do? Let's go ahead and just have him work on his aspiration a little bit. He wants to work on level 2 motor skills, so... He can go ahead and practice typing on the computer since we don't have the monkey bars right now. So, practice typing. Oh my god, he's sick. Oh, great, 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 great. He's coming down with something. So, just come over here and have some orange juice because that is a home remedy that my our, our, your Sims actually can drink instead of medicine to just get better. I don't know if it works every time, but I do know that it works. All right, cool. So he is going to come over here and sit. Oh, he's going to hug his brother. All right, I need him to go ahead and read the volume of cooking. Can he do extra credit work? Yeah, do extra credit work first, actually, and then read your cooking skill or cookbook. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm putting homework before everything, but... I really want them to all get an A, that way we can go ahead and just age them up and everything like that and get new babies coming because that is the point of this challenge. So what are you going to do? You're going to put that in the dishwasher. Don't do that. We will go ahead and just sell it. And she's going to, of course, come back up here. And who is just at our house? Who is you, boy? Who is you? Liam Gray. We have yet to meet him. Let's go ahead and... Give him a friendly introduction, because he could possibly be our next victim. Go ahead and do that real fast. Ooh, you are quite handsome yourself, dude. And his eyes, oh, 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 oh. All right, so go ahead and discuss local fishing spots. Show off your non-muscles, you know, the ones that are invisible. <laughs> uh, gossip about neighbors. Proposed crazy scheme. Brighten his day. Tell him a story. Do an impression. Joke about fashion. Talk about handiness because, you know, he's a guy and all. So she's going to do that for a little bit. We're going to have Amory come upstairs. And is she trying to destroy that, that house? No. Do not smash that house. I don't know what is up with our Sims wanting to do that so much. So... I, I don't know. She's far too tense. From what? A pleasing environment can put us in the mood. Stressful decor from environments. What? 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 I don't know. Uh, she needs to vent to someone. So come here and just vent to your sister. Oh, geez. That girl is going to be a problem. I already know it. Who keeps smashing this? Oh my lord. Poor child. He's always sad. I feel like he's the emotional one in the family. Or is it just me? Alright, so go ahead and just vent to her, girl. Vent, vent, vent. She's feeling angry too. Can she 
Go ahead and be mean to her. Annoy her. <laughs> Annoy your sister because you hate children and you hate her. Oh, this is so adorable. She's like poking her and messing with her. Awesome. Okay, well, anyways, now that she's not feeling tense, she's going to come over here and work on a small classic painting. And I, I want to see if we can purchase the arts book. That way we also don't have to waste up, waste waste money on bringing up our art skill skill herbalism logic mischief mixology painting all right cool 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 we're gonna go ahead and buy this and she will make a painting and then she's gonna go ahead and read the book that way she can make some you know, pretty darn good and good in quality paintings and stuff like that. And you two are going to... Wow, she's hardly brought that bar up. So we're going to go ahead and flash our crazy eyes. And then we will cloud gaze with him. And who is you, girl? Who is you, girl? Who is you? Alright, the kids can just do whatever they want for now, honestly. We're just going to have her cloud gaze with him a little bit. Bring that bar up. Make sure Amory is doing everything. All right, she's painting. Cool beans. What are you doing, Braden? He is going to go ahead and read the cooking volume. Volume. I mean, I guess we should have him read the art book, actually, which is more important. So we're going to go ahead and give that to him. So that he can read it. So go ahead and do that. Why? Why? Just why? Just put it in your inventory. Where did it, where did it go? What? What? The book literally just disappeared. Oh, here it is. Wow. wow. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and just read that. Sit here and do so. Alright, cool. So anyways, that is the end of this part. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys like the new house. If you have any comments or anything like that, go ahead and leave them down below. And be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will talk to you all very soon.